What's up guys, it's Project and today we're gonna have a little special video because I've been spending the past few days trying to complete this nine pillars of peace quest which requires you to obtain all was it 136 or something like that geoclus basically all the geoclus in the world map and you're gonna be able to do this quest now I was told that you should do this quest more early on because the more the higher your world level the more the more challenging it's gonna be so what I did I actually stayed at the lowest possible I think the lowest possible world level you can stay which is world level one um taxes this whole entire quest so I'm still world level one and as you can see my adventure I'm over the cap by 11,000 XP so yeah kind of rip we're also going to find out if you do go over the XP cap let's say adventure rank 25 um does this XP carry over to the next rank or did I just waste an entire what is this 7,000 6,000 XP for nothing so let's go find out but first we need all the Geoclus and I need one more to get to shrine level 10 in the Geoclus world so I believe it is this way oh wait uh no wrong way <laughs> and there is a uh site that you can go to that has all the Geoclus locations you can uncheck which ones you already found on that website as well you will need a google login so if you have like a throwaway google email I would recommend doing that I didn't do it I just kind of use stars on the maps so all these stars are Geoclus locations and that's basically how I kept track although it's more inefficient but yeah finally I got all the Geoclus I need and we can start the quest and complete those pillars and there we are the unmovable mountain max level 10 your efforts have been acknowledged and you need that to get the last uh, geostone or whatever to actually activate the shrines um, somewhere around this area I believe so Kuji slope or Kuji Kuju blank slope is where you need to go <laughs> And these pillars, you need to jump on them basically, and you need to activate them. Now I have activated a few, I'm not sure which ones I act activated yet, but this one's probably activated, not activated. Oh, okay, not activated. So you gotta climb up them to activate them. And these little spots here, you put these in. Butt plugs. And you get knocked off for some reason. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you the most important part of even trying to do this quest. The whole point of doing this quest is that you get a 5 star artifact for free. So this is going to be your first 5 star artifact. And then you're probably going to cry because the rolls are going to suck. But we're going to see if we can get lucky and get like a attack percent or something. Something good for doing this quest early on. Or in general. And hopefully my XP doesn't go rip. Because that would be if I get a crap artifact and I lose all the XP that I've accumulated until now. That would suck big time. That would send me back so much. Please no. And the way that you tell these are lit up is this middle section right here. It'll be lit up. So whichever ones aren't or don't have that middle section or top section uh, lit up. That one you haven't did. Like that one over there, I haven't did it yet. So just kind of keep track of them. Unless uh, this is your first time here. Then you just go like in a circle, I guess. They're kind of in a circle. All right. Open sesame. Come on, doors. Open up. That's all nine. Yeah. Three days of constantly looking at that map. Seeing which ones I missed. Going back to the same area repeatedly. And finally, where's the door? Where's the door? Oh, here it is. Okay. It's time, boys. This is the world, uh, the weakest. <laughs> the weakest nine pillars shrine attempt. And uh, just for stats wise, my D looks level 50, 1200 attack. Four star prototype animus weapon free play Shang Ling for four 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 send attack and then official four hundred as well and then Barbara for the Gila. No one likes spiders, right? Okay, I guess we're starting now. Let's go! A bunch of golems, level forty. I'm not sure what the normal the normal level would be. Oh, the monster has been enhanced by a fusion stone. Oh, so do I gotta kill that stone? Oh, you gotta kill the stone to get rid of the enhancements. 
unfortunately. Okay, that was easy. What's next? Oh, roly boys. Where'd they go? Oh, there they are. Hello, friends. I heard these guys can like bug out or something. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Oh wow, they are enhanced. Okay, kill the stone first. Jeez, these guys are everywhere. Sorry if my camera's going crazy. Oh, there's two stones. Gotcha. How's a heal? Ow! Oh. Are these the worst enemies in the game? <laughs> oh, snap. Ruin Hunter. Oh, that's messed up. Oh! No! Auto aim! Trash! Okay, we're good. Oh, so he's 48. I, I think I've seen like 60. Or like 55 or something at world level 2. But now I got my buff from Barbara's. Uh, whatever it's called. And yeah, now he's buffed again. Oh, rock guys. What does this thing do? Just damage over time. Oh, oh, I'm getting juggled. No fear. No fear. No official. Ah, official. Ojo sama. Died. He wasn't even buffed either. Uh, but can we use items? That's the question. Oh, we can. Okay. I'll oh, use items. Okay, that's easy. Ooh, the song slaps. So sh should have uh, switched to Barbara sooner. Oh, it's on cooldown. Uh, don't I have the eggs. Which one revives? I wish these things were separated better. I guess that's the only revive I have. Or maybe you can only use one revive per... Ah, okay. Only one revive. Got it. Sorry, official. But you're officially dead. <laughs> oh, what the? I didn't know that was a shortcut. Oh, because I tried to switch to her. <laughs> Shangling, Bra Barbara, music astato. Okay, last one, last one. Oh, that's gonna be rough. Oh, ho -ho. can I not climb? I guess I can't climb. All right, stamina. How can we get up there then? Oh, we can. We can. How come I can't climb there? Dude, I'm gonna have to use this. Unfortunately. Jeez. One shot? This is gonna be hard without official. This box is tough. Can I manage doing this on a hard difficulty? Can you come down? Thank you. We're almost done. We're almost done. Come on! Yeah! Oh, that's the end of the quest? Yes. That was actually pretty tough. <laughs> Quite. There'll be one shot on my characters.
Border official? These are like level 42. You saw me get one shot. Wow. Okay. So yeah. Oh, and the spoils go to the winner. No force artifact. No for oh. This ruin gives Pyman the crease, but this should be the end of it. We got some treasure for efforts too. We even got ourselves that ring. Ooh, ring. Let's go find someone who has an eye for antiques and see how much it'll sell for. Ah. So we got a ring. But what about the artifact? Greed, nostalgia, vision, jealousy, anger, lust, self, aggradition, competition, turmoil. These nine mortal desires may <laughs> heal the world or do a great hurt. Their fire will never diminish and never fade. Thus, we lay down nine pillars to bring peace. Then here, the conflicts that play this world. If one who comes after will break those pillars and enter, war shall once again consume the world. O you who read this tablet, claim this treasure that lies within and bring peace to Louis. So this must be the five-star artifact. Royal Flora. Legendary treasure. Yes! Five-star artifact gets a Satan, Satin, Satan flower. Devil flower. All right, boys, it's time. Did we get lucky and get a good five-star artifact? Attack percent, crit rates, and defense. So two out of three. It's a flower, so flowers always have flat HP. So the fact that we got attack percent and crit rate is actually pretty good. Two-piece set, elemental burst damage plus 20%. And the four-piece set, using the elemental burst, increases all party members' attack by 20% for 12 seconds. This effect does not stack. I'm guessing stack with itself and not with other... I'm assuming it stacks with other attack buffs. But you probably can't use a... Probably doesn't stack with itself, is what it means. So actually, pretty good. Pretty good. So we're done? We're done here. So I guess there's another little side quest you can do. Where you exchange the ring and you get uh, either 200,000 Mora, which is a lot. and Or you get 180,000 Mora. And you get like some kind of food recipes or something like that. So you can choose either or. I believe both are in leeway. So if we go here, um, there should be two options for you to exchange that. Ling Lang. Ah. So this is the girl that gives you 200,000. You can also find her at night. And she also sells, I believe, antiques or something like that. So you definitely want to buy from her as often as you can. But she's the one that gives 200,000 more if you exchange the ring. But the one I want is the 180,000 more. And you get like a, a bunch of free food. Aha! Below is where you need to go. Bola! Oi, oh, keep your voice down. Antiques and curious. I'm not too familiar with them, but I'll have a look. This ring. Uh, it's set with a jade gem and one of good quality, too. Just the gem alone would be worth a sum. There's a description on it, too. Disaster runs rampant throughout the world, and all who live do so in agony. Where did you find this ring? In a ruin near Quijay Slope. A uh, blank slope, huh? <laughs> tis tis, what a shame. Uh, Julian Karst is so nearby, too. If this, ring, if this ring came from a ruin in Julian Karst... It would surely fetch a great price. Unfortunately, without any storied origin, this one's price falls a great deal. But if it's of good quality, I'm sure someone would want it nonetheless. How about this? I'll offer you 180,000 Mora, aka cash money for this ring, with a few add-ons to boot. Would you sell it to me? Sold. What add-ons? Let's ask him first. What? You ask? Well, it'll be a good thing, that's for sure. I won't do you wrong. Okay. Wonderful. Very de decisive. Here's the money. It's yours. Ah, this ring is a true treasure. Boom. You get another quest. I get a bunch of useless XP, and you get a Demptus Temptation. So, five star, legendary, increases all party members' attack by 316, flat attack, and crit rate by 10% for 300 seconds. So, it's your choice between this, so five of these things, or 20,000 extra Mora. So, eh, 20,000 extra Mora is not too important early in the game, nor is it later in the game. So, I think this is actually better. Because you can make 20,000 more just by, what, fighting one ley line? <laughs> so this is better, I think. And yeah, that is the Nine Pillars quest. But of course, the biggest question, did I waste all my XP? So now I got almost 1,300 XP over capped. Still adventure rank 25. Let's do that one quest to boost my extension. Or world level, I guess. And you also get two fates for this as well. The Venture Scale is both an emergency relic commission. Let's go. Yeah. 
Actually, let's wake up this guy as well. Wakey, wakey. Oh, my guys are still dead. I forgot to heal. No. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't matter. I got Diluc, the best hero in the game, before he gets nerfed. Use my character skill to phase through all those bullets. Which is another thing that makes five stars kind of OP. Their Q animation can disregard any attack for a second. And we just gotta wait for Dealer's cooldown. <laughs> there you go. Oh yeah, okay, so XP doesn't cap. Yes! So if you do overcap your XP before moving on to that next rank, it will carry over. So I was 25 there, and then completing the quest, I guess, I shot up to 27. Our world level is now level 2, and my max adventure rank is level 30. Uh, well, well I, can't, I guess I can't show you guys now, but... So nice! Upgraded. So that's very good to know that your uh, the XP does carry over, so... If you're worried about like opening chests or doing a bunch of commissions and stuff before doing the nine pillar quest, if you want to do it on, on the lowest difficulty, let's say, um, have no fear because it does carry over. And uh, as you can see, venture rank 27, and my XP is almost 28 now. So very very cool. And yeah, that's gonna be the video. Except for we need to upgrade that artifact. Let's see. If we, if we can get another good roll. So it's, it's got three stats here. Let's see if we can get crit damage or like energy recharge, right? Ooh, and we got two times XP enhancement. Nice. So that that is a rare chance for you to get like two times. I've, I even heard like five times. Five times experience. So if you're like nearing like the plus four, plus eight, plus whatever, try to maybe hold back some of these uh, artifacts if you don't plan to upgrade it uh, too far. But I plan to upgrade this to the max probably. Oh, energy recharge! Yes, sick, dude. This is a really, this is a really good artifact. Uh, now we just gotta get enhancements into attack and crit rate instead of defense. But energy recharge is always good. This affects your Q, so the more, the higher this is, the more often you can use your Q abilities, which is good for like support, support units. All right, first plus eight. Let's go. Attack. Uh. Crit rate, nice, nice, that's good too. That's good too. We take that, definitely take that. All right. Oh no, defense, no, rip. Dang, flat defense, that sucks. We had a, that's a, what, 30% chance? No, 25. And we got the worst, the worst possible. Ooh, two times enhancement and attack percent enhancement. Nice. GG. So we got one more level. I'm not sure if I can get there. Probably don't have enough artifacts really here. Oh, two times bonus. We got one. Ooh, we got another one. And attack percent. Nice. So there you go. A five star all the way plus 20. I got really lucky with three good stats on it. Unfortunately, one went into the defense. It could have been like 20% attack boost, but... This is fine as well. 15%, 7% crit rate, and 4.5% energy recharge. So we actually got lucky boys. And yeah, good luck to you guys. That's the nine pillars quest. Do it as early as possible. So one of them be as hard as you saw there. I still got, I still died because I sucked, but yeah. <laughs> That's the video. I'm gonna stream soon, uh, probably the next few days. So look forward to that. Also new guides coming up soon as well. Uh, make sure to check my other videos, Giga Tips video, my team building 101, if you need help with that kind of stuff, who to choose and stuff like that. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for more Genshin Epicness. Don't wait, show that you're not a zero.